Hi, in this video I will talk about the path to in GIMP and the keyboard option, uh, the keyboard shortcut for this uh, tool is B and you can see down here the options, we have the option to design the path, to edit it, to move it, uh, to make it polygonal, uh, we have the option to make a selection from the path, to stroke the path. Now this tool can basically be used for uh, three things that I can think of. One is to uh, create a path with a closed path with a shape and then transform it into a selection. And in this way you can use it as a selection tool. The other way is to uh, draw with it by making a path and then using the stroke option or you can put a text along the path. So let's see how we can design a path. Uh, to start it, all you have to do is click with the left mouse button and create the initial point of the path and then just click and continue creating other points. You can also click and hold down the mouse button and just drag like this and you will uh, expand these handles which will allow you to create a curved segment. Now once you drop them, you won't be able to further modify uh, these the the segment here but you'll be able to drag the handles which will determine how uh, the other segment will appear now if you see here if I drag like this and then I click here even though I'm clicking in a straight line you'll see that uh, the segment is still curved so it's very difficult to control uh, the shape of the path when you are designing it once you're ready with the path and you want to close it, you hold down the control key and mouse over the starting point as you can see here and just click to close the path. Now at this point we are still in the design mode. We can still grab and move these points. We can also grab and move the segments and adjust them like this. We can grab the handles. Now if we uh, switch to the edit mode, you see that I clicked here and I created another point. So in the edit mode you can add points to the path, you can further edit them. As you can see the options are kind of kind of tricky and messy and it's kind of difficult to work with this tool. If you are familiar with Inkscape, which is a free program but for vector graphics, there you can create path and modify it. You have so much more options and it's so much better to create and edit a path there. Here it's kind of tricky, difficult and it can be frustrating. Another thing that can confuse beginners is that uh, you cannot delete this path right now. And if you manage to switch to another tool, it will just disappear and go back to the path tool and it's still gone. But it's not actually gone. You have it over here in the path dialog, which is docked over here. Now, if you don't have this, I'm going to detach it, close it. And in order to get it here, just go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs and find the path dialog. Just click on it and it will appear over here. And now if I click over here and this eye is active, you can see the path. Now if I click on it, I will make it active again and I can further edit it. Now I'm going ahead and delete this. And the way to delete the path is to select the layer with the path in the path dialog and click this option. So let's start another one and this time I choose the polygonal option. Click and now if I hold down the mouse button, I won't be able to create a curve. I'll only create straight lines and let's go ahead and close this and let's say we want to make a selection from this path we can just click this option and we have a selection if you want to move the path we can click on this option grab it and move it and let's say we want to create the selection here instead of over here once you have created the selection and you want to get rid of the path, just select it and delete it. You can also get back the path by going to this option here, selection to path, and the path will appear here. And of course, again, we have to make it visible so we can see it. We have to 
click on it so we can make it active. Now let's go ahead and undo a few options. And um, I'm going to delete a path. And let's create another one. And this time let's not close it, let's leave it like this. And select the stroke path option. And here in this dialog we have plenty of options uh, for stroking the path. We have the option to stroke it with a solid color or a pattern. Um, we have the uh, line width. We have the line style. If you open this, you see you have plenty of options here to work with. Most of the options here are pretty, uh, are pretty self-explanatory. The cap style is uh, the end point of the path. Uh, what kind of shape do we want it to be? The join style is if we have a, a curve, how do you want it to look like? Something that might be confusing is, for example, if we want to stroke the path with a paint tool, click here and we can select a paintbrush, for example, and you can be wondering, well, what kind of a paintbrush will that be? It will be the one that you have selected over here from the brushes dialog. So if I uh, click the stroke option now, you see I stroked with this brush. I'm going to undo this and let's select uh, this brush, for example and uh, do this again you see now I have uh, this brush active the same thing goes for the pattern as well if you have selected a pattern from the pattern dialog this is the one that you're going to be using from here so as you can see uh, the tool is kind of tricky to use I personally almost never use it because when it comes to making selections I would rather use uh, one or a combination of the other selection tools. It's much faster and better uh, results. If it comes to uh, putting a text along path, I'd rather use Inkscape for that. If you want to learn it, I have a link in the description for my second channel. I have plenty of tutorials there on Inkscape. And if it comes to uh, stroking a path and drawing, I really think that uh, if you're into drawing digital art, you should get a drawing pad instead of trying to stroke paths in GIMP. So maybe even though this tool is kind of tricky to use and it lacks a lot of options, it's still the only tool that has this kind of flexibility. So it's definitely worth checking out. So that's it for this video and I hope that it was useful. If it was, like it, leave a comment, visit my channel for more, subscribe. That's it for now. Bye.